My name is Thorax, and this is Strategy for Busy People. If you've got a few minutes, I'll tell you what to play. Today we're looking at Transocean, the shipping company. I've got about three and a half hours in this game. Transocean is a bit like a railroad tycoon game, except you don't build any lines. You buy ships and take on contracts to deliver goods from port to port, and this takes time. Some contracts have target delivery dates that you have to meet. You continually expand your fleet and have the goal of buying out your original investor. There are some ship upgrades to manage, and those upgrades can include special unlocks for certain types of cargo. You can transport cargo without the proper upgrade, but you risk a fine from customs for doing so. As you play along, you gain access to larger and larger ships. You start with some small ships and a European theater, but soon gain access to Panamax and larger ships, which opens up the rest of the globe for ports and deliveries. Overall, the game is cute. As usual, I played on the easy level, which really didn't cause too much grief. There are occasional issues you encounter as your ships travel around. A storm, a reef, a fire, which can cause delays. If your contract deadline was tight, an unforeseen delay can mean you miss the delivery and rack up late penalties, which increases your costs. Managing fuel usage versus per fuel prices along your routes is likely much harder in the harder difficulty levels. I got to a point where I had some really large contracts to fulfill by sending ships all over the globe. I tried to organize it so that I wasn't sailing around empty. Unfortunately, there's no way to automate any of your routes, and you have to pick and choose contracts and cargoes every time a ship docks. If you had more than eight ships, this would be an ugly pain in the ass. Then you realize that ship you sent to Auckland doesn't have refrigeration and can transport the foodstuffs to Felixstowe, and now you are screwed because that contract only has 136 days left on it. So rather than try to fix it, and rather than starting over, I just stopped playing. Not because I didn't like it, but mostly because I had figured out how the entire game was likely to go, and I didn't want to do the same game loop of take contracts, launch ships, accelerate time, repeat. There's a mode in the game where you can launch or dock your own ship, which is certainly way harder with the larger ships. The physics of moving your ship around in the water are fairly well implemented, but it just seems like a gigantic waste of time. It takes many, many real life minutes to navigate the ships into port. Think about that. If it takes six minutes to port or launch a ship, and you have eight ships, and you're constantly docking or leaving, you could spend hours just moving ships around without making any progress. I did it a few times, and I got over it quickly. You can fortunately pay to have a tug dock or launch your ship. Beware though, once you attempt to launch or dock yourself, if you give up and call the tug, you'll pay double the rate and you lose reputation for being such a terrible ship pilot. I would rather they have simply left this entire feature out of the game, but some people like simulation in everything. So hey, at least you can pay to win here. On my trademark three point score scale of avoid, meh, and I forgot to eat, this is a solid game that you could probably suck tons of hours into if your goal is to buy a really humongous, insanely large ship and figure out how to move medical supplies halfway around your little globe. 